Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing absolutely fine. And in today's video, I have a book review by this amazingly talented woman, which I recently discovered when I was in a bookstore. And I picked this book, which which I find I found the title very very captivating. And the title of the book is A House Without Windows by Nadia Hashimi. I'm going to review that book today. It is set in the backdrop of Afghanistan once again. So it is a very very uh, hard wrenching story heart wrenching plot and a very emotional plot as well so i'll review this book in this video stay tuned keep on watching this is the book i'm talking about and if you see the book cover i i'm i have some i had some different feeling when i uh, looked at the book cover for the very first time and and the book cover itself is something which is evoking the the mystery mystery which is hidden in the story plot and the mystery which is hidden inside the pages so i was already intrigued by the book cover and i wanted to pick this book and read it more upon reading this book i found out that this is also set up in the backdrop of afghanistan which is a land filled with culture and history but it is also burdened with the complexities of women faces in afghanistan and we all know that there are so many great writers who have established afghanistan's story so many times and written so many times beautifully and emotionally very well and one of the greatest writers is khalid husseini himself who has praised this book saying that she has written first and foremost a tender and beautiful family story her always engaging tale is a portrait of afghanistan in all of its perplexing enigmatic glory and a mirror into the still ongoing struggles of afghanistan and afghan women he himself is the author of the kite runner thousand splendid sons which are all based in afghanistan but this this book when i read it was specially for this woman zeba who is the protagonist of this book and zeba's life takes a tragic turn when she's accused of her husband's murder and she is she's she finds herself confined within the walls of a house without windows that's what the book is about so he she she spends her time in the prison and till 250 to 300 pages we do not know why she exactly killed her husband or did she even kill her husband without giving you any spoiler i would just say that her writing is truly immersive it is being it is like being transported to afghanistan just like while reading shantaram you feel like being transported to mumbai uh, this book gives you a feeling that you are transported to afghanistan and you are standing with uh, zeba herself and smelling the aroma of spice of afghanistan of kabul the dates of kabul she masterfully weaves this intricate um story and doing this by any writer is one of the most important accomplishments and we all authors look to this accomplishment we move forward in the story plot we meet yusuf who is a young and determined lawyer who takes up the case of zeba defends zeba and his character is like a breath of fresh air he, he has come all the way from us is representing hope and it's the potential for change in the society which is bound by challenges of afghanistan and traditional gender norms which are everywhere uh, all over the world if you're looking for a book that will change your perspective or bring you to a whole new planet a whole new level I would wholeheartedly recommend you A House Without Windows by Nadia Hashimi. I have not read any other book by her but I would definitely look forward to reading more of her. There is a book called A Pearl That Broke the Shell uh by her and I think that's that, that's the book that got her fame that that's the book that became very famous. Trust me it will be an unforgettable experience that will stay with you e- till the last page and even after the last page. Um that's the book review i can give you about a house without windows without any spoilers i have tried to refrain from all these spoilers all i have told you is that there is seba who is accused of her husband's mother, murder and uh, there's yusuf who is the symbolization of hope in this story trust me this will be an unforgettable experience that will stay with you forever and with that i would want you to grab this book and if you are anyways intrigued by this story if you want to know what happened with nadia what happened with uh, zeba in the story and how nadia does illustrate her story in this book do grab this copy and uh, 
let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i'll see you very soon in the next video till then bye bye Thank you.